Hi all, welcome back to Effed Up True Crime. Make sure you head over to our social media pages on all the major platforms. Let's get into today's case. Jackson County deputies got a call on Wednesday evening on the 19th about 25 year old Sydney Sutherland being missing. Miss Sutherland lived near Highway 18 with her boyfriend in Jackson County, located in the US state of Arkansas. Its population in 2018 was reported to be 16,811, so not a big town. Arkansas is a southern state bordering the Mississippi River. It's known for its abundant parks and wilderness areas, with stunning mountains, caves, rivers and hot springs. Now Miss Sutherland was last seen jogging off Highway 18, close to her home and going west at around 2.30 p.m. Her vehicle and other personal items were still at her home. Authorities were concerned about her safety due to the weather conditions, as well as the time she had been missing. On Thursday, a relative shared what is now believed to be the last picture of Miss Sutherland, taken from ring footage at her house not long before she went on her run. In this image, she is seen in pink sneakers, black shorts, and a white tank top, and she's moving items to the trunk of her car. Summer Sutherland wrote, this was at 1 p.m. on the 19th of the 8th, 20, at our house. She went for a walk at around 2.30 p.m. by her house on Highway 18. Please help us find our sassy. Lines of cars joined the search to find Miss Sutherland in the small close-knit community. Over 200 volunteers joined the Sheriff's Office along Highway 18, desperate for any signs of the missing woman. Jackson County Emergency Management on Facebook wrote, I'm sitting here trying to find the words to say and I can't find none. No words can take away the pain Sydney's family is feeling. At some point on Wednesday, Miss Sutherland went to a gym in Jonesboro and investigators are reviewing surveillance video footage from the gym, according to Fox 16 News. The sheriff reportedly said Miss Sutherland is known to take walks or go jogging in the area where she was last seen. As stated, along with law enforcement officials, numerous friends and community members, they'd been scouring the area for her. Everybody obviously loves her and you can tell by all the people out here looking for her. A friend of Miss Sutherland by the name of Felicia Drake told KRAK News. Jackson County Sheriff David Lucas told reporters, on Thursday the 20th, the Sheriff's Office major lead was Miss Sutherland's cell phone, which was found in the evening, a quarter mile from her home. Here's a clip. It's, it's, it's taken a toll, it really has. Um, just because I know the people of this county, uh, I know this family personally, um, I know this young lady, Personally, I've known her and watched her grow up. Uh, so it, it, it hits me personal. And, and that's another reason why we want to work so hard to try to find her. On Friday the 21st, news came in that the body of Miss Sutherland was found at around 2 p.m. Here is a press conference that was held from Sheriff David Lucas. Yeah, Kevin, I talked to Sheriff David Lucas about 3 o'clock today, and he did confirm they found Sutherland's body. Now, we don't know exactly where, but we are just north of Highway 67, and you can see that a deputy is blocking off the access road. Now, I've seen law enforcement go in and out of that area, but again, we don't know exactly where Sutherland's body was found. We do know that they did find her phone yesterday, more north, about a quarter mile from her home, and they were concentrating their search efforts there. There. The sheriff did have a press conference at one this afternoon before Sutherland's body was found, and he talked about how this case hits close to home. Just kind of personal. Um, I do know the family, know them well. Um, I know Sydney. Uh, watched her grow up. Uh, she went to school with, with my girls. 
We are still waiting to talk to Sheriff Lucas and get more information about, you know, what exactly happened and where her body was found. I asked him earlier if he planned to do an interview, and he said it would be several hours. So we will keep you updated as we learn more. On Saturday, the 22nd of August, a man by the name of Quake Lewilliam, 28, a farmer from Jonesboro, handed himself in. The Arkansas State Medical Examiner in Little Rock used DNA collected to confirm that the body was Miss Sutherland's, according to Jackson County Sheriff David Lucas. We, we locked down that entire area. Um, everything was combed for evidence. Um, as far as what evidence was discovered and where, I, I can't really elaborate, um, but the whole area, we shut it down and locked it down. Quake was taken into custody on the suspicion of capital murder. Jackson County Sheriff David Lucas told reporters that Quake was familiar with Miss Sutherland, though the details of their connection were not made immediately clear. As stated before, Sheriff Lucas said Miss Sutherland's death hit him especially hard because he knows the family. It's taken a toll, it really has, he said. Quake, a local third generation farmer of Jonesboro, was charged with her murder. On Monday, police said during a probable cause hearing that Quake spotted Miss Sutherland on the highway as he was driving. He then doubled back and adopted her, then drove three miles away to a farm to rape her. It has been said that he hit her with his car, but at this point it is just a rumor. Quake was ordered to be held without bond until his next court date on October 1st. Miss Sutherland's family was present at the courthouse. An ASP agent said on the stand that Quake admitted to seeing Sutherland walking on CR 41. Quake reportedly then abducted her, took her to farmland and sexually assaulted her, then buried her body. Quake has been sent to stay in the Randolph County Jail as the case proceeds. Quake himself did not take the stand to confess. In 2016, Quake, a Tuckerman High School graduate, was named as Jackson County Farm Family of the Year, alongside his father Michael and grandfather Donald. At the time, Quake told ArkansasOnline.com I've always worked on the farm. I began driving a yellow Ford, hauling seed for Dad. We all had our own farms, but we helped each other out. His father, Michael, added, we are a true family farm. From my dad, Donald, to me, to my son, Quake. The family is said to own 5,800 acres in four counties. Miss Sutherland's family, as well as the 2014 senior class at Tuckerman, held a candlelight vigil at 7.30 p.m. on Sunday at the Tuckerman City Park to remember Sydney Sutherland. Miss Sutherland worked at the Harris Medical Centre in Newport and was remembered as a friendly and outgoing person who put her family first. She is very close to her family, Jennifer Eddington, a co-worker told WMC5 News. It has been confirmed that Quake was a member of the Sydney Sutherland Missing Arkansas Facebook page. He also showed up to help search for Sutherland when she originally was reported missing. It has also been said that Gracie Dawn Llewellyn, his wife, was connected with Ms. Sutherland on Facebook. But since the crime happened, her profile has since been deactivated. Quake's Facebook page is rather open and is filled with posts expressing his love for his wife. The page also contains photos of him with their three children. He wrote in 2017, no words could ever describe how much I love you my beautiful love, my baby darling. In 2015, he wrote of the same woman, shout out to awesomely amazing girlfriend for being so patient with me and taking care of me when I'm down. 
I love you baby girl. They got engaged in 2016. He said, the moment I got on my knee and looked into your eyes to ask you, I got so lost in them like I always do. He also posted, I believe in Jesus Christ and accept him as my savior. One Facebooker has challenged all believers to put this on their wall. In the Bible it says, if you deny me in front of your peers, I'll deny you in front of my father at the gates of heaven. His Facebook page has said that he is married. Since Quake's arrest in Ms. Sutherland's disappearance and murder, it seems someone has gained access to the father's farm and compromised the farming equipment. It only came to light when the land had been blocked off by police vehicles. Quake wasn't born as Quake Llewellyn. His name was actually Jeremy Davis. His stepfather, Michael, gave him the Llewellyn last name. As a child, his nickname was Quake. So when the adoption took place at the age of 17, Quake changed his first name also while in his senior year of high school. Now, what I'm about to tell you could very well be random gossip. And due to the fact that this supposedly happened while Quake was a juvenile, I cannot gain access to court reports as most juvenile convictions are sealed by a judge. But I have been told by someone who is close to the Llewellyn family that Quake got into a world of trouble when he abused a cow as a juvenile. It is said that he set the live cow on fire and then stabbed it until its death. I was also told by the same source that wishes to remain anonymous that he was also caught with child pornography. But as I said, I'm not sure of its validity. Anyone with information on Miss Sutherland's case can contact the Jackson County Sheriff's Office at 870-523-58. I will also post these contact details and information on our pages. Please, if you know something, say something. This family deserves justice. And although they do have their suspect, the more evidence, the better. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you soon.